the component point data which is present over here by making use of this object and using dot operator we can access this property values inside our template that is HTML content. Now in this video let's see how we can get rid of this HTML content which we have written over here in template okay by making use of another instead of this template we can make use of template URL where we can specify the link for this HTML content so what we are going to do is we need to remove all the content HTML content from this component class that is event events hyphen list component dot ts and place it in a separate file and render data from there okay let's do that now okay let's create a new file inside events folder okay and name it as events hyphen list dot component dot html okay so inside this file let's place all the html content which we had written in the previous video over here okay let's remove all this okay and paste it over here now we have to specify path of this HTML file so that our component class will know from where HTML content should be rendered on our web page at runtime, right? So we have to specify path of this HTML file over here. Instead of using template, I'm going to make use of template URL, okay? And here I'm going to specify path of the HTML file. So where exactly this events hyphen list component dot HTML is present? It is present inside events folder, right? So dot slash events hyphen list dot component dot HTML. I'm going to save these changes. Okay. So what we have done so far, the HTML content which we had written inside the template in inside our component class which is used for rendering the data mentioned inside this component class event object we are making use of the same thing over here but instead of using template we are making use of template url and we are specifying the path of the html file where exactly the html file is located this is highly recommended why because whenever we are writing the component class we don't wish to write the H all the HTML content over here because usually the HTML content for displaying data on our web page will be huge. It takes a lot of lines to display, right? The HTML file. So let's provide this link over here so that our component will know where exactly it should look for the HTML content, HTML data for rendering at runtime on our web page. Okay, so we created a new file inside events folder and we placed all the HTML content over here and provided link for that here. Okay. Now let's run this and see the output. Okay. Saving the changes. We have to specify the command npm space start like usual. Okay. Now if I open the browser and go to localhost colon 4200 because that is the place where our HTML content that is a place where exactly our web page is located. Why? Because it will be hosted under localhost colon 4200. If you see here, when we give the command npm space start, see, it is clearly showing here that Angular Live Development Server is listening on localhost colon 4200. Open your browser on this. Okay. So HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon 4200. Let's open the browser and navigate to that link localhost colon 4200. So now you can see that same whatever we rendered before on our previous video, same is getting displayed over here. No changes. But only thing what we have changed is we have moved all the HTML content which we specified inside the template to template URL 
that is the location of the file where exactly we are placing the HTML content. So this actually reduces the overhead of writing all the HTML content over here and making it look awkward inside our component class. That is the use of this external external templates. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment and share this video and kindly subscribe to my channel in order to watch more videos.